Right, so I'm gradually progressing down. In fact, if I think about it, it's quite a steady climb up, isn't it? I don't think it would be as bad as I thought. You can stop off. No, it carves its way through and then you've got a little steep bit at the end. I don't think it's as bad. It's not like what I've just done earlier, coming out of um, Holford and going up past the dog pound and then up towards the memorial trees. That was very steep. But once again, not for long. Do you know what? I just love this place. And um, the one good thing, people knock Facebook, and I know we we have to be careful what we share, and we don't want to offend anyone and all that, which is true. Um, but, you know, I've met some interesting people who share this. And even the people that I sort of don't agree with, I mean, they've all got something, really. Everyone's got something to contribute. Um, no one's holding anyone ransom or anything, you know, basically it's different viewpoints uh, and that's what happens and the thing is, what I think about anything, vulnerable people, for example, disabled people or <sighs> anything like that is um, the vulnerability of animals as well this is their home, you know <sighs> and they can't they can't do nothing about it if, if, if human beings decide to hunt them to death. Oh, look at that stream down there, everyone. I, could, I haven't been able to sit for ages. It's just appeared. Look at that lichen on the tree there. It's a sign of health. Sign of healthy atmosphere, that is. Oh, it's a shame the sun's gone in. I mean, if I got out here at nine o'clock, it would still, you know, like this, what I said, it's closing in with the afternoon. It does happen, that's the trouble. But there's just a bit of blue sky. Yeah, I'm trying to get out here as much as I can before the darker evenings. Um, yeah, it's not going to stop me completely because I just do shorter walks in the winter. <sighs> just depends. We only have the short nights for uh, three months, really. Now I'm coming up round now to what's called the plantation, that area there, which I'll be walking up through, I imagine. <sighs> you can hear the babbling brook down there. Lovely berries on the trees for the animals. And another little stream here to cross. You know, this could be quite quite um, hard to cross later on. Or you need wellies or something. As the, you know, as the weather gets wetter. It doesn't always in the winter though. We've had quite dry winters actually. Uh, you know, it, they reckon it's generally been very dry these forecast people, these meteorologists and that. They don't harvest the bracken here. On the Mendips they harvest the bracken and it's, it's used as feedstuff, I think. I think so. Oh, look at that lovely bush there. Look at that lovely holly bush. What a lovely view that is. Of the holly bush there, look with the bracken in the background. What a lovely autumn scene. I'm going to stop a minute and take a picture of that. Right, off we go, folks. Those lovely trees up on the hill there, look. They could be planted there for a reason. Just walk down through the Wee Valley. And there's a tree there, an oak. Also very graceful, on its own, looking bold and proud. I bet the sheep gather under there. The sheep are keeping away. I can't, I've seen them. Good job I've seen them earlier. Um, because uh, there's none down here. They're keeping one out of the way, I suppose. <laughs> Poor things. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, there we go. Here's the brook that's been making music in my ear as I've been walking down through the wee valley. A couple of little stepping stones for us. There it is, coming down from the hills. Beautiful, isn't it? So, so there is something magical about water. Something very magical, making its way. Glistening in the sunshine. Right, so we're heading home, just carrying on down. Like I said, I've not walked here before. Um, it's the 18th of October 2018, just to remind people. I set off from Holford Green. Um, I think it was about 20 to 12 by the time I got going, and then I stopped and talked to a few people, which is good, it's part of it, you know, to get out and chat to people and find out how they, they think about stuff and that. That sort of thing, you know. This is very pretty. It's like I said, it's taken me till I'm retired to really do these extra bits, I've always called them, which I never had time to do. When you're working full time, you've got four kids and a house to run and all that. Just going up the Glen and back was all about we could do with small children in those days. Uh, and I was a runner anyway, I was a road runner. Uh, marathons and half marathons, I got into that and swimming. Those were my, and a bit of cycling. Um, and then later I took up hockey actually. I've always been an active person and I've always loved swimming. I don't swim at the moment. I had a few problems, uh, which I can't go... Well, there's nothing too personal. It's just I had a reaction to the chlorine in water. So I, was, I, was, I can't really do that. I'd have to do fresh water swimming. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd done a lot of swimming. I'd, uh, I'd done one triathlon in the past. There's Reading, Reading and Berkshire's first ever triathlon. I, I did that one. It wasn't a huge one, but it was still quite challenging. Um, I was younger, of course, and um, I'd done three London marathons and another marathon and loads and loads of half marathons in the 80s. Then work really got hold. Um, I was still studying as well. I, had, I was a very busy person mentally and physically. And um, I, I, I am enjoying my retirement so much, you know, to come out here and, and breathe in this beautiful air and scenery is like, is, it's a healer on its own, you know. So things you can't always do, like um, if you're disabled, you can't get out here, can you? If you've um, got no money, you know, you'd have to get someone to bring you out, and then um, there's, there's. I haven't got a lot of money, but I, I put, I, I've always managed to get around, uh, get places. You know, uh, you just say I'm going there, and you go. That's it. Even if you have to save up for it, and then, um, yeah. But if, what I'm saying is, as and when you're very old as well, I wonder if I've got to go up there. I don't know. I think we should go right down. So this is what I'm saying. When you get to a situation like that, this could take you back up quicker to the beacon. But I want to go down a bit further. Because that might just take me out um, just back on the beacon straight away. I want to go down a bit further and see where this goes. God, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So what I'm saying, there are 
positions for a lot of people, elderly, who can't, aren't very mobile. Um, well, we all face that. That's some, one of the reasons I do my videos as well and like enjoy other people's. It's so that one day when I am really ancient, I can look back and say, oh yeah, I can, I can follow myself going along here. And not only that, I, this is called Living Tree. I uh, re record and store for the future. If, if not the immediate kids, it could be those in 200 years' time. You know, I mean, I would have loved to have spent a day walking with Wordsworth, for example, or spent a day with my ancestors um, in a variety of environments, the rich and poor. Um, I'm just saying, the poor bit would be scary, I think, to go and live in poverty, real, real poverty. Um, and I don't really know what it would be like the other end of the scale as well, where you're living in a mansion. Because as a woman, you're quite often um, very pressed anyway, so, uh, you know, I don't really know. But this is beautiful, isn't it? God, isn't this beautiful? I hope the camera's picking up the sound of the water. Yeah, I want to go down to the bottom. I know there's a way up there, but that would be the cheating, wouldn't it, going up there? If it was getting late, yeah. And it's nice to know that there's a way out. But for now, I want to go down here. But I think what happens when I get down here, I'll just pick up a route I've done before when I was going from West Quantock's Head to Bicknoller Village. And I had to go round, if you like, round this part of the Quantocks. So there, that was the quick way, and we could come back and do it yet, who knows? We'll have to see. At the moment, I don't like being offered too many tracks to go, especially if there's no signs, because um, there was no sign back there to say to people, look, if you go up there, you can get to the picnic area, you know? So I'm just, I'm going down here, I know I've got to climb up again. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little bit, just in case the video decides to turn itself off and nothing's saved. Over and out.